Santa Harvey's, I'm Susie Landry, and boy, do we have a show for you today. Due to everything else that took place before we actually started taping, it has been amazing to see just how much I do not know about this organization. Today we're going to be talking about the Cajun Comic Relief. For those of you in the past, you probably have seen uh, other shows with Jim Richard, who created this event. But we're here today to share with you two special people who are going to give us more insight as to why this event is taking place and why are they now involved. So I want to go ahead and welcome to the show Jamie Knight with the Down Syndrome Association of Acadiana, who has partnered up with the Comic Relief and also a special guest, Tony Piantech. Did I say it right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, close enough. Okay, so being said, I want to learn more, and I want you, the audience, to learn more. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Jamie. And so, Jamie, with that being said, both of you, welcome for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Well, I know we're going to have a great time talking about this because, obviously, you are a part of this organization and why. I want to know, the audience wants to know, why have you partnered up? Well, uh, uh, actually, uh, last year was our first year. This is our second year uh, being the benefactors of Cajun Comic Relief. Um, but uh, I actually reached out to Jim Richard um, at, before last year's show and, uh, and had heard about the show for many years and had been and, uh, you know, had enjoyed it. And, and being a board member with Down Syndrome Association of Acadiana, I uh, really thought it'd be a good opportunity for us to get out in the community and, and be a part of a, a great show like Cajun Comic Relief. Um, and um, it was just something that really, Jim, when I spoke with him about it, um, we interviewed for it and, uh, you know, obviously got accepted um, before last year's show. And um, we just, we thought it was a good opportunity to, to be a part of a local show that uh, celebrates Cajun culture, celebrates laughter, celebrates all the things that we in our organization just enjoy so much. With, well, Jamie, uh, I, I think I failed to say your last name, Jamie Knight. That's correct. K-N-I-G-H-T. Nothing Cajun there. Right. Uh, Jamie, actually, I remember Jim talking with me on the la one of the last shows that I did with him about how he had just gotten a phone call and he was so excited but he couldn't share it right then and there that he had someone else interested in joining this great cause now let me ask you this how is that gentleman over there involved tony tony piontek is uh is our self-advocate for uh, dsaa and uh, tony actually has down syndrome uh he has a very high functioning and uh he's a uh, he's a uh, he's he's basically our representative for for the organization, uh, Tony does a lot for us. He uh, he's he's there at uh, almost every event. Uh, Tony is uh, you know a spokesman, a cheerleader for our organization, and a cheerleader for what what individuals with Down syndrome can accomplish and and do. Anything, everything that I would love to do, but uh, but it's also the effectiveness of being there, being present at these events or whatever it might be here in Lafayette making a difference totally that's making, what you're doing making, totally making a difference a, making, i love being a making part of a anything. difference meaning you're there that you're present well i tell and you that's what, what i'm for how many years have you been part of this actually involved um since we since 2004. 2004 wow yes well, and it's growing beginning. and that's growing. the beginning of the, 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 the very start correct the start of it yes ma'am Okay, well, it sure is nice to have you here today. And back to you, Jamie. Would you please share with us maybe something that's new this year that possibly wasn't there? Like who's performing? Okay, so this year's show, we have uh, one of the crowd favorites, A.J. Smith, always does a fantastic job. He's actually helped us with a few of our commercials uh, promoting that. Um, we have a new, Ed Roy's new this year. Um, and then an old favorite, uh, the Raging Cajun, John Morgan, will be yep. there um, as well. We also have Horace Trahan, uh is our musical entertainment, and uh, he starts at 5. The show starts at 6. Um, How many performances and what days? We actually only day? have one performance one this day? year. One, one? performance. Okay, right. One? We had it. They had it uh, 
two years and the, they had it two performances in the past this year oh, yeah. we're doing we're doing one well, so we want to emphasize uh, that one it's definitely uh, uh you know you definitely want to get your tickets because the the show will l have very very limited seating and we're hoping that we, we sell and it where's this going to be held the hyman center in lafayette and it has been held for the last i think we figured it out 27 years 27 years mm -hmm. okay so one performance on what day and that would be the date of this I think what? March 16th, March 16th, Saturday, March 16th. And what is the time on that day? The time is uh, 5 p.m. is when Horace starts and then the show starts at 6. Okay. So like it's technically 5 is the start time. Well, I remember all those buses coming in and people getting off from all the over. So we still have buses coming in. We have in. many couple of buses coming in uh, confirmed and we're, we're waiting on a couple confirmations on some others and it de definitely be uh, well, uh, jam-packed. If anybody needs any information, I would uh, suggest that you check out the website, which would be what, info at? We have uh, CajunComicRelief.com is the, the, the main show's website. We also have a lot of information on DSAA.info is our uh, website, uh, which is on the screen there. Um, we also have uh, a lot of fun videos on our Facebook page, uh, uh, both on Cajun Comic Relief's Facebook page and DSAA's Facebook page, and you can find that at facebook.com slash DSA Acadiana. Um, we actually did a video with uh, Tony yes. and uh, several of our other uh, uh, individuals from our membership uh, put together their own comedy show. Um, well, now which we're on Facebook good. Live. Yeah. So everybody that's watching, uh, take part in this and be mm -hmm. sure to share it, because I remember those buses that were coming in and if we're down to one performance, hmm. oh boy, ticket-wise, you might be interested in checking it out. Yeah, definitely. Tickets are, are moving quick. There's uh, quite a few, uh, still some seats left, uh, but uh, I have a feeling closer to the show, they'll be very, very limited. Okay, let's go back to you. And <clears throat> what plans do you have? Oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cute. Take it over, Jamie. <laughs> um, we, uh, what plans, what was your notes? What plans do we have? Yeah. Uh, okay, you and your activities, what do you do? How do you prepare uh, for a show like this? We actually have been um, helping in the show promotions. Um, we've been raising sponsorships, um, partnering with our major sponsor this year is Chick-fil-A. They were one of our major sponsors last year, uh, Chick-fil-A Acadiana. Um, so it's, it's local. It's, it's our, our local Chick-fil-A stores have partnered uh, with us. They'll be on the stage. They'll be throwing out. Uh, the, the cows will be cow, cows will be bouncing around on the stage, and they'll be throwing out some goodies. That's gonna be and, wonderful. Uh, That's a new fun. addition yeah. to what's so, uh, happening. So they they were here with us last year, um, and they're, they they've joined up with us again this year. So they're our main event sponsors. But we have some other some other sponsors. Gulf Coast Bank has been a member. Coca Cola has been a member. Uh, Don's Wholesale. Uh, Bart Bernard's been uh, been joined us. Uh, Katie Real Estate. They've uh, you know Party Time has also jumped in. Um, and I, I wish I'd have had my notes. I'd have I'd have more for you, but uh, we've, okay. we've we've had quite a few uh, long-term sponsors that have that have helped us every year. Okay, I want to go back and clear up the the actual event is at the Hyman Performance Arts Center on Saturday, March 16th. Five o'clock starts off, and then six o'clock. About what time is this uh, event over with? How I long think ago? I think they say six uh, starting at this when it about 90 minutes of the comedy so you have three performers I believe they each get about a 30 minute spot okay. so um, you know anywhere around 90 minutes so well, I'm just to, curious if it, if it was going to be as late as long as it has been in the past but like I was sharing with you uh, it's hilarious I mean to even be behind stage like I was filming in the days when I was working with Jim behind the scenes I was watching the audience, and the audience was hilarious because of the facial expressions and the laughter, and, and there were a lot of people I knew that were sitting in different rows, 
And I think they were totally amazed at how good it really was. They had a guy last year that was laughing so loud and hard, he could hardly catch his breath, and we were just <laughs> laughing at him laughing. That's uh, it, that's and, it, that's uh, what I'm it saying. Was, it was totally hysterical. Uh, it was, it was definitely pretty funny. Hysterical, yes. You wouldn't, I didn't even, I knew Jim, hmm. and I knew some of the performers, and I'd been, like I said, in the past years, and but I didn't realize just how hilarious, really, yeah. that it was you know but it was awesome it's amazing but number one why is it being done who's benefiting right the uh the show proceeds actually benefit uh, down syndrome association of acadiana so the money raised on the show stays right here in acadiana um you know so that's so this year because you're underwriting and you're sponsoring this on a benefit from this event so each mm -hmm. year a different organization can come on board and become part of this also, correct? That's that's correct, that's right? That's correct. Like we actually had it for the two years, but you know, I would imagine. Well, in the past, I knew that there. in the past, uh, I knew that Jim also had done some spinoffs outside of this is a once a year event, right? But he's done other events that you know uh, showcase local entertainers, local people who want to tell jokes and be funny, mm -hmm. and so it's part of that also. Um, and some of those people are now faithful to him to come on and be part of this Cajun Comic Relief. If people can take a look, Facebook, at the logo that's on the screen, you're pretty well, whether Jim's here or not, you're pretty well looking at Jim right there, you know? And he had joked around about, yeah, that's why he had it done. Well, I know that I know that it's a great organization, and I know that you're looking forward to uh, being part of this. So is there anything you'd like to talk about regarding your organization your plans, uh, if anyone wants to get involved in it. I mean, I'd love to be able to feature you about this organization on another show that talks about why you do this. Sure, sure. We'd so right now, to. if you can kind of share a little bit of what is this organization about? Not just Cajun Comet Relief, but right. your organization. Right, yeah, DSAA is, is basically an organization started by uh, a few parents who got together of, of children with Down syndrome and they got together and said there's a need for an organization that we can all get together and promote the interests of yes. individuals with Down syndrome here in Acadiana. Um, but it's just grown in leaps and bounds and, and we've been a part of so many great things and we do so many great things for the community but also for our members um, that, um, that show, you know, hey, look, we've got, we've got people you know, I know Tony's had uh, jobs at, at what Lowe's and a couple yes. other places. So we're, we're promoting the interest of individuals with Down syndrome in the community. Kevin, I uh, know, is a huge celebrity yes. at, at Chick-fil-A. Yes. They crowned him the king of Chick-fil-A. Yes. Yes. Uh, he was on stage with us last year. Uh, I'd imagine he'd probably be on stage with us again. But, you know, we do so many things. We do, um, we do a, a cooking program called uh, Cool I Can Cook, which is an actual uh, program that's put on. Um, quarterly at uh, Tops Appliances, and uh, what that does is they go through an entire entire uh, recipe, and they learn how to prepare an appetizer, a meal, and a dessert. And uh, Tony's been a part of that. Maybe so Tony can talk a little normally, bit about that. Like what Jenny, like what Jimmy was saying, it's all hands-on. No matter if it's from a, uh, from a real chef, and I, and uh, all kinds of beautiful young people from high schools that come in, they'll take their time out to go there. Be hands-on with those young adults. Give them that, that learning tool to say, you can cut with your knife nice and slow and hold with your food. Those kind of nice small things that will make that program a lot better but also it will give them that opportunity to really do it on their own. That's amazing. I'm so glad you, that you're part of this organization. Very much. It's so needed. I want to tell you two guys, you don't even know, but my heart's desire was always to connect with someone that we could have and do something through yes. AOC to benefit the organization, which we do. Mm -hmm. And I'm reminded, as you're speaking, there was one thing that I had wanted to always organize and have a talent show and everybody's the winner and they just come up and they sing or write or, or quote, you know, mm -hmm. uh, poetry, whatever. Right. So maybe there's something we could incorporate 
to uh, get more exposure yeah, through definitely. AOC, which is why we're a community station. So you may want to think about that. Yeah, and, no, I and, think we'd be you open know, a talk to, show would be great. And, I mean, um, a talk show would be we, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> we feel, we both feel that if that does come for that free open door, we would love to take it. This yeah. is the open door. And, the, and that's, I would love and to work I, with you and help you if you're interested. Yeah, and a lot of what we do is just trying to get out in the community, let people know, hey, we're here, we're, we're, we're in the community, mm -hmm. um, we, we, we work, we're a part of it, you know, the, the kids are in, in, in every school almost in, in Lafayette, um, you know, we're, we're, we're in we're, the community, we're immersed in it, that we're a part we are, of it. We are very much associated with as many things as we have done now and hopefully who knows more and that could be that beautiful open door like you said well i really there. would sincerely uh like for you to consider it i'm very blessed with a crew member and we do tend to help others who want to start their own shows which is what alc is all about mm -hmm. but you have a cause and you can get all this free exposure facebook yes. right now is listening to what we're saying you can have right. them log on on the page that you're have all your information on. So it, mm -hmm. it's something that I'm offering. And uh, if my director has the time, we can set up to where we can have you, guide you through and help you. Think okay. about it. Okay. Free exposure is to let the people know what other great organization is what you're doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And we do yeah. so much more than just the, the Cool I Can Cook program. We're doing a, um, a swim camp we put on. That's what uh, I'm talking about. Yeah, this, uh, this summer we're doing a swim camp. Um, we've done a bike camp a few years ago, the mm -hmm. same, which actually taught some kids to ride a bike who've never ridden a bike before. And I say kids all the way up to, you know, uh, adults who've learned how to ride a bike through this two-wheel right. bike through this program. Um, I mean, we do a buddy walk, which is our huge, big fundraiser. Um, Park International. At right Park here. International. I mean, I know. thousands, thousands I of people of come out. <laughs> Can't you know. miss it. Want to come. You know. Look, I know it's huge. I've been there before, yeah. So there, there's so many other things that we do. We, we do little, you know, I think we're doing a bowling uh, thing. We're doing, uh, we do like art classes. Uh, Painting with a twist you know, is those, a big thing. Those, so you uh, have different locations that have offered you to go out and help you present certain activities help support different locations care for yes yeah and okay. and it's not only about raising money you know either you know it's all about you know getting our you know we, we put that's on these, these classes about. we put on all these classes to give a added benefit to our members you know that's what i'm talking about so we're not all you know just strictly about money we're all about getting it out there letting people know everything. what's going on letting people know who possibly have no idea that this organization is more than just one thing yes. you know and maybe get involved which is why mm -hmm. why <coughs> excuse me i'm encouraging facebook okay here we go yeah no Whoa. i mean i hope they check it out we have a lot of fun <laughs> stuff on our facebook page it's i mean we've got some really good videos on there we share a lot of good content that that support you know individuals with down yeah. syndrome and uh <laughs> whether it's it's we have fun with it and um you know, we celebrate the, 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 the lives that our kids uh, live and the, the joy well, that they I so apologize for this coughing and all that, but I've been dealing with an allergy I didn't know I had, and it always chooses to try to stop my shows. Uh -huh. But the people hang in there, it goes away, and I appreciate you guys coming on and working with me. Uh, Director, how much time do we have in the show left? About five minutes. About five minutes left, okay. Let's talk about you. And the well, things you like to do, period. What kind of things are you passionate the, about? The majority of our organization, and myself too personally, is being with the people, going, giving back to that community, which is here in Lafayette, in Iberia Parish. Okay. And when we do that, then we get together. We share those joys. Sometimes it's sometimes it's not just joys. It's it's also just coming together. That's what it's really 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 about is being together, coming together, enjoying ourselves. Being with like-minded people who understand you, mm -hmm. who can you know a safe place right. that you can share and and be a part of different things. I think that's amazing. I would like to learn more myself. So webpage, 
Okay, people would like to know more information. Yep. They can go to that's the, a good that's a good start for somebody who doesn't know anything about us. And read Our all about is, it. And is, then you is might very up, it's updated. The the dsa.info website is uh, is updated, and uh, it's uh, it's it's definitely a good resource to find out like more about what events we do. You know what we are, what, what we we're serve, about, what our mission is, that mm -hmm. kind of that kind of thing. Well, it so. sounds like you have the right partner with you we over do, here. We do, we do. Tony's okay. helped us out. Tony's featured in Tony's featured in that that comedy video that that we, we talked about, where uh, Tony was the MC of the video. He also mm -hmm. told a few jokes in it. Um, Tony's always willing to help, and he's always willing to be a you know a face of the organization. Is that on Facebook again? It's on it's on our Facebook so page. So your Facebook right, right, right. page right there. Yes. Right. It's up on the screen. Yes. Right. It's so you've uh, actually posted some videos of different yes, events. Uh, yep. Wow. We have some shots from our buddy walk. We have um, like I said the, 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 they did our own Cage of Comic Relief video. <laughs> um, we shared a lot of pictures uh, this this past week we had a um, St. Barnabas Church through our organization a Mardi Gras ball. Right. So we had all a bunch of uh, all our members, we had uh, that must have been hilarious. 20, yeah, 20, 20 uh, members from our organization came in and they dressed to the nine. I mean, you know, you're talking <laughs> about tuxes, uh, ball gowns. Uh, so and, what did uh, you was, go as, was, uh, Tony? Tony missed it. He I missed oh, it. He missed it. Yeah. Yeah. He oh, missed it. But oh, well. he's, he's going to have to come next year. Oh, oh hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, uh, well, back to you, Jamie. Okay, I know that you are the media person, you told me. So do you think there's any way that there's something that we could do to help you get the word out because we're on Facebook Live. We're going to be putting this on YouTube also. AOC, of course, mm -hmm. is going to be airing it. So if we share it with you, then you'll be able to share it with other people. Yeah. What kind of media coverage do you have right now? I'm just curious. I think the, uh, in, in, and we also have a, 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 I'm the social media coordinator, but we also have a media coordinator, uh, okay. Molly Gidry. So she's, she's on the, uh, she it goes on the, TV and uh, radio some uh, to promote our different so events. So radio and TV. So those and those things are videos. happening. Yeah, okay. definitely. And then social socially, we love to do videos that are right. fun and you know funny and and share the the the, the oh, funs nice. and joys yeah. and, funs and, and, joys and and successes and everything right. that 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 our our kids have. So. Um, we enjoy that kind of thing. So the best thing I could do for people as far as recommending people what to do, I would say, you know, Facebook is definitely the easiest way to, to, to get some information. Yeah. And that's the most accurately um, updated thing that we have. We do update our website, the, the, our DSA website a lot. Um, and actually, I'm noticing there that's dsaa.info um, is, is it's misspelled there, but that's okay. What is it supposed to be? DS, yeah, it's, it says dssa. It's dsaa.info. Okay, change anyway. that real quick, uh, Kenneth. So dsda. Dsaa. Is a okay. Yep. But you know, like I said, they could, they could, you could Google Down Syndrome Association of Acadiana and find this real quick. And like I said, the Facebook page is there. Um, they can go there and, and learn a little bit more about it, what we're doing and how we're It's supposed that. to be DS. There you go. There you go. See, you got man, it. Got I didn't it. even know he could do that until he got did it. that the other day. Well, I think now we have about two minutes left in the show. So, do you need to be doing any shout outs and thanking people or acknowledging anybody in particular before we have closing credits? I think that, you know, Chick fil A went, you know, was a huge partner with us for the show last year. And, it, and it's so helpful to have them not only for you know the money side of it but also for the exposure side of it and then they 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 just have a heart for individuals with down syndrome you know you've got kevin who's who's a, a celebrity there and he's just you know a, a big part of it i think it's his aunt uh, aunt that uh, i communicate with often mm. and boy she's a oh, big nice. advocate for him also too yeah. and it, but it's and it adds Claudia a lot of fun to it. She's a super person. Yes, she is. She is. Very I'm much. so proud of him. She gives him a lot of exposure, the organization a lot of support. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm glad and, to and hear that. Yeah, and having them on board, they, you know, the cows are bouncing around on the stage. <laughs> you know, we're throwing things. That they're having yeah. fun with us. They're right there with us. So to have them with us is, is, is nice. I think that's wonderful. And also, too, I would like to acknowledge that I went out with some family members to shop at a local mm -hmm. park. ARC, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you what, that was the best shopping trip I ever had. The entertainment was great. The workers were happy to see us mm -hmm. and kept telling us all kinds of things, and we enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm grateful that different uh, organizations are given jobs 
and giving everybody an opportunity. Yeah. Well, we're at the close of the show, and my credits are starting to roll up. So I want to thank you so much, Facebook, for tuning in. Thank you for being patient in between this Very mysterious much. cough and everything that's happening. Mm. And we want to remind you that the Cajun Comic Relief is coming up. And to be sure to check out that webpage that we did correct. And it's going to be happening at the Hyman Performance Center on Saturday, March 16th, starting at 5 p.m., maybe going through an hour and a half of entertainment. And with me today, we had the pleasure of having two people that are very invested into being part of this. So without anything else being said, thank you both very much for coming thank on you. the show. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you, you so much. Thank you for me. It's so nice meeting How many you times? also. It's not over. Think about what no. I told you. Definitely. AOC is the place to be. That's right. Great. Thank you.